Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it's interesting to me to listen to some Democrats here on the committee uh, trying to harp on the very idea that Mr. Wolf is somehow illegitimate as the former acting secretary. Uh, we Republicans here, we are committed to searching for answers as to why this administration continues to inflict catastrophic damage to our country. And here, I just want to remind you of a few things that are very important to understand. Not only is fentanyl poisoning the number one cause of death of young Americans ages 18 to 49, nearly 83,000 Americans have died of opioid poisonings since uh, the year 2022, and they die weekly in my district. <clears throat> 96 individuals on the terrorist watch list have been apprehended. Crime has skyrocketed across the country, and we're missing 85,000 children, 85,000 children. And while Democrats across the aisle on this committee want to talk about families being separated under the Trump administration, I'd like to introduce for the record, Mr. Chairman, a, a letter uh, to custom, from Custom and Border Protection saying that the Biden administration is ending DNA testing, familial DNA testing, as of, that was at the end of May, May 31st, 2023. So when you talk about so separating ordered. children, separating children, we have the Biden administration not even testing, testing who these adults and these children are. And I can't comprehend it. Everyone in this room knows what an Amber Alert is. We all get them on our phones, right? This is when a child has been kidnapped. And we are so concerned in this country about children who have been kidnapped that we have something called an Amber Alert notifying all of us that there is a missing child. 85,000 children missing, migrant children missing in the United States is the same thing as 85,000 Amber Alerts. It's unbelievable. Mr. Wolf, many of the children are brought to the United States by coyotes and human smugglers. In your view, how is Secretary Mayorkas responsible for exasperating the unaccompanied children humanitarian crisis? Well, it's not just one action. It's, a, it's obviously a culmination of a variety of different incentives. Uh, it's an incentive structure that has been created over the past 27 months that allows individuals to come into the country and remain into the country. When you exempt UACs from Title 42, that sends a signal to the cartels and to everyone else to smuggle as many children across that border as humanly possible. We know they're going to stay in the United States. So when you make these categorical pronouncements, the cartels are watching and they are paying attention. And just to key off on your last point, not only did DNA testing going to end, about to end, the vetting of sponsors also ended at HHS under this administration. No more vetting, detailed, in-depth vetting of sponsors. We also increased vetting of other household members. We didn't, know, we didn't just want to know who the sponsor was. We wanted to know other household members and Amen. dive into those backgrounds. That was eliminated as well. Site visits, not, not every home was visited, but random site visits to make sure that those children were where they said they would be, also eliminated uh, under this administration. So the idea that somehow they're protecting children because they needed to facilitate the flow out of HHS facilities quicker and quicker is, is a misnomer. Unbelievable. Mr. Scott, it has been reported that many minors at the southwest border are in fact related to adults with whom they are traveling. In fact, some of them are even recycled. I can't even comprehend using the term recycled when it comes to children. And these kids are used again by different cartels and human smugglers to guarantee admission of family units. In your estimation, has this exploitation of minors exponentially expanded under the Mayorkas' policies? I believe it has, and this is why. Every one of those child recycling cases, and if you don't understand what that means, that means a child being teamed up with a fake family over and over again. So he has to make that trip over and over again because they're in, that gets them to become a family unit and they get into that categorical exemption to get released. Every one of those cases was discovered by an agent interviewing the child and finding little cracks in the story. 
That takes time. The agents don't have that time today. Those conversations are no longer going on at all. They're being, they're being pumped through the system like fast food uh, commodities. <laughs> Worse than that, now the DNA piece of it is being shut down as well. That was one of the last tools to be able to quickly be able to prove somebody was not related. That doesn't mean that there's not some kind of a, of a connection there, but that gave the agents a tool. Most people broke immediately when they believed they were gonna be subjected to the DNA. You didn't even have to do it. This administration knows they're putting children at risk every day. They're enticing them to the, come to the country and it defies common sense. Thank you. He should be impeached. General, General Lady yields.